Hey there, Rich. What you doing, brother? Listen, man, it's a good day for the Rick truck. So as you guys probably have saw in our videos, uh, we tow a lot with my 2019 F-150, 3.5 EcoBoost. Yup. All sorts of power on this thing, man. I love this truck. It's uh, been really good to us. We've hauled the 34-foot uh, trailer that we have with three machines on it. Total of 9,000 some miles this year with this truck, and it's done incredibly good. Basically two cross-country trips yeah. with a 34-foot and three machines yeah, in tow. A lot of miles. Uh, I basically have no complaints with this truck um, in any regard, but in the towing department, there's one area that can really be improved, um, and that's the factory tires. Yep. So this thing rides really good, but when you put a load behind it, uh, you know, even with the weight distribution hitch and stuff, you can still feel you know, the, the tires are pretty soft on it. So this truck's ready to tow like 12,000 some pounds and uh, we've been there or maybe slightly above. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, does a good job, like I said, no problem with power, but uh, tires could definitely be improved. So this just has like a P-series tire on it from the factory, you know, yep. what you'd find on SUV. Junk. Yeah, not the best for towing. So our friends at Toyo said, hey, we've got the uh, solution for you for this. So they got us hooked up with a fresh set of Open Country AT3s. Shoo! Brand new tire. <laughs> Look at that, that's an aggressive looking tire, man. Yeah, much more aggressive tire. And this is a load range C tire. So this is gonna be a six ply compared to like the four that's on there right now. So a little bit stiffer sidewall will help with uh, you know the, the flex that you get when you're towing. And uh, I think yep. it's gonna drastically improve the, the handling of this thing when we have a trailer behind it. You did the same thing on your truck, I did didn't you? exactly the same thing, exactly the same situation. Older uh, truck, but same deal. Stock P rated tires, you just feel them wiggling around. You go to a real LT, a real light truck tire, and it stiffens it right up, makes it tow just a lot better. So this is gonna be a good upgrade. It's gonna look cool too. So yeah, this is I mean, uh, uh, definitely, I mean, this thing has like 36,000 miles on it. And those stock tires are cooked. I mean, I've regularly rotated them and stuff, and they're just worn out. Um, pretty low on tread. So, I mean, this thing, or these have a, you know, real good deep tread on there. I yep. think these are, I think, six or seven thousands deeper than those ones would be, you know, brand new. I think you get that with a light truck tire, yeah. too, just a generally deeper tread. So, yeah, I mean, you guys know, obviously, we've got Larry, which is like the dedicated tow unit. But on some of these big trips, we're taking so many machines, one truck's just not enough we put five on the wedge we put three behind rick's truck and i mean still with that setup often we're wanting to be able to tow more machines so this thing's uh got to be ready for more trips to come yeah and so a lot of people will go with like a load range e right off the bat on their half ton truck which i think is a bit overkill um from a ride quality and uh weight per, uh, standpoint too so these are only like 11 pounds more each than the oem tires that are on there so i mean it is you know a little bit more but not uh not as much if you were to go to like a 10 ply tire so yeah it's gonna be a happy medium yeah. man yep so. so we're gonna run these across the street to our friends at mikoff tire they've uh treated us pretty good on uh, some trailer tires that we've had to get mounted up you saw the aluminum ones that we put on the wedge so we're gonna run these over there have them mounted up we just don't really have the time today to do it ourselves yeah, unfortunately you see everything in the shop and almost everything in here is broken I'm trying to think <laughs> that i think that's nah, this might not be broken it doesn't have tires on it though that's broke that's broke 2jp is broke mud life's broken 168 is good anyways we don't have time to be mounting and balancing tires in here so we'll run these bad boys over to meek off good dudes over there get this sucker My car's not looking broken. good <laughs> There's a name for some guy like that. I'm not gonna say it. On Confirm. Camera, but... All right, let's load these things up. Okay. Saw you back there. Rick. <laughs> That's another thing broken. <laughs> Just broken stuff everywhere. Take care of him next week. But yeah, look at me and having these guys right across the road for when we get busy and can't do stuff like this. So. Yeah, final voyage on the old uh, Michelin P tires. About a quarter mile here. <laughs> I think what we're gonna do is uh, next year's stuff. I'm gonna call them out once we get these new tires on. We might have to do a little race for a truck versus the Raptor. Oh, Let's interesting. See what goes okay. down. This has the Livernoy Motorsport tune on it as well. And uh, I'll be interested to see how they fare against each other. I think he's got a little more weight, but he's got more power, so. Yeah, that's real interesting. Real interesting race, I think. I'd pay to see that. I'm not, though. I'm gonna watch it for free, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. Hey, you guys don't have to pay either. That's tight. Hell yeah. For some reason, we both drove over here in the same truck. 
<laughs> we have to walk back to the shop. Yeah, listen. It's real, like 20 degrees. So. Real bonehead move. I don't know <laughs> what we were thinking. We weren't. We did have a lot to eat for lunch, so probably just not hitting on all six right now. So. <laughs> real, real idiots nice, overall. Nice but, uh, A few minutes later. Shit. All right, we're rolling up on the truck. Oh boy, she looks beefy now. It looks tough, it man. Looks beefy. This looks real tough. All right, let's check a look at these things. Yeah, a little bit of side lug yeah, action. Overall, really gives her a good look, man. Great mod. Yep. Those are tight. Those are tight. I like it. I like it. I know you're a big outside white letter guy. Me, not so much. So this is, in my opinion, an improvement. Hey, that's you know <laughs> why you can get things both hey, ways. That's all right. Have that's it your right. way. It's like Burger King, have except way, man. go to McDonald's and stuff. Shoot. Please. All, All right. right, well, we're gonna go get the keys for this thing. Thanks again, Mikoff Tire. If you're in the Saginaw area and need tires, hey, shop local. These guys, real good dudes. Good people. I'm real curious to see how these perform uh, very shortly. Yeah, you know what we should do to test that? Yeah. Yeah, we should just race the Raptor because we took that over it's here. So lucky that we happened to bring <laughs> that with us to get your truck. Man, I can't believe how these things work what out. What a coincidence. All right, let's get the keys and uh, I'll see you. All right, so we're throwing some quick power in this sucker putting the tune in that uh, made this truck go 1290 and interested to find out on the Raptor that putting it in sport mode makes a big difference. I thought it was just a matter of it holding gears, you know, part throttle and changing the downshift strategy, but uh, no, it makes a big difference as far as performance goes. And when I was at the track, I just ran this in regular normal mode. So I don't know if it's gonna carry over to a regular F-150 or if that's just uh, special to the Raptor, but We'll try running it in sport mode when we race the Raptor and see how she fares. Yeah, so initial impressions with the tires, they're pretty quiet. Um, there is a little bit of humming as you can expect going to a more aggressive tread pattern like these compared to the stock ones. And the ride quality is actually pretty much unchanged, surprisingly. So very happy with that. I was always happy with how this thing rode, um, you know, for a truck. We'll see how they do. We're going to uh, go up here to our closed test track and uh, yeah, run the Raptor, see how it does, both on the uh, Big Dog Livernoy tunes. That's a tune only on each one. Yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, yeah, we're on the closed course. You ready? You want to honk it or go, just go? One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Rich rules, baby! Alright, we need to see what that was. Zero to 60. Frick! Oh my gosh. 4.62. Oh my goodness. Shoo! Oh, <laughs> Whoa, that was a 4.62 zero to 60 over wow. here. Wow. Did you get a. How was your launch? She's hauling. It, it felt pretty good. I've never launched this truck before, but it wasn't bad. Maybe I could have done a little better, but... All right, you want to try it again? One more time. Okay, hang on. Pull up a little bit. Good mod. I think uh, we'll turn around and uh, head back and maybe discuss this, but I definitely think the Raptor has some more weight to it, and it's on 35s, so that's not good either. But uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun overall. Good race. Good clean race. Jeez. Man, Douglas, that closed course we got ourselves. That's a real good closed course. Good ripper out there, man. I got a little better launch on that second time, yeah. but uh, man, your truck just... Pulls out, yeah. pulls out. Took off real good. I think, you know, that, I think those are 35s. I think those are just under a 33 on there. So, I mean, that makes a big difference in the gearing. Yeah, a little then, lighter truck, a little yeah. slighter tire. Hands yeah, up. Sure. 
but yeah, both real good running trucks overall. I mean, really enjoyed that <laughs> yeah. with that Livernoy tune and sport mode. She's just banging the gears like makes it a lot of fun to drive. Yeah, that you last one just going ripping for a while. Right, but I should probably bring it back. Yeah, that last one that uh, I did there. I did the, uh, I ran it out the quarter mile and it was like 1308. It spun quite a bit. Okay. But it, and, you know, it went 1290 something before with, uh, you know, better track prep. So, Not who's bad. to say? I don't think it'll go any slower than it did before on a prep track. You know, like I said, 11 pounds each more per tire so a little bit more rotating mass yeah overall not bad pretty solid pretty solid so Good that's gonna setup. that's gonna wrap this one thank you to okay, uh okay. to toyo for getting those new tires out to us and uh yeah anybody that has any sort of truck that does any amount of towing, especially half tons, because heavy duty trucks are gonna come with good tires. Consider upgrading to at least a load range seat tire. It's gonna make a big difference. You're gonna be a lot more confident driving. Yep. And, uh, yeah, get a, mod. get a real tire on there for towing for sure. Yep. And uh, big thanks to Nick Seuss for uh, letting me rip his <laughs> razor, even though he doesn't know that that happened. And uh, yeah, big thanks to all you guys for watching. Please right. click subscribe. We need you. Please. Appreciate you. See you back here shortly. All right, see you later, Doug.